Hey guys, Green Zephyr here. I just wanted to say um, that if you want more content like this video, uh, go subscribe to The Skull Seeker. That's my other channel that does bone videos. Uh, but anyway, uh, back to this video. So recently I found this skull, which was in pieces, and I put it back together and made cardboard pieces to replace all the missing pieces. And so... I put back together this blue catfish skull, and it measures 14 inches long, not counting the dorsal fin spine, and it is extremely massive. Um, now, I've been doing calculations based on studies published on uh, head length to total body length ratios of blue catfish, and according to the studies I've seen, the head is approximately... Um, well, the body is approximately 4.94 times the length of the head. So, if this is 14 inches, and we multiply that by 4.94, it, get, it goes up to over 69 inches long, which would approximate this at the size of larger than the world record caught on rod and reel. However, there was a 9-foot blue catfish that was caught by net in the Mississippi River, a long time ago um, but that one does not count as the world record because it was not caught on rod and reel so and technically this one doesn't either because it's dead but if it were alive it would be the new world record blue catfish because that's how massive this thing is and so anyway um, I have a whole uh, 23 minute video explaining um, the process of what I did to recreate this here and make the pieces and reconstruct it and part of it's me talking about the skull and measurements um, and the initial measurement I went with was 60.5 inches because if we measure from the tip of the snout here all the way to the back of this um, first piece on the skull this bone here um, that is 11 inches and Typically, you would measure that times 5.5 to get the um, uh, length of uh, the like the entire body length, but that puts it at 60.5 inches. However, if you take the actual studies done, um, that pulls it up to 69 inches. So that's that's pretty big. Now it can be confirmed exactly how big it is because it's dead and only just a head but you can make approximations like I did to assume the actual size that it could have been. And so this is a really big catfish, potentially world record breaking if it were alive. But yeah, it's a massive fish. Super huge. But yeah, like I said, I have multiple videos up on my other channel, The Skull Seeker, that talk about this fish and show it off and i also have other like tons of other content on um, all the other skulls i have i'm still working on uploading more videos obviously i'll do some periodically but yeah if you enjoy this kind of stuff uh definitely check out the skull seeker on youtube and look through those videos because they're pretty cool i enjoy making them um yeah this this is a really cool skull to find and recreate i love the process uh, it was, yeah, it was really cool. And I don't know why someone just left it sitting there, but someone did. Because the way I found it, it was um, wrapped up in fishing line on the shore at a lake in Kansas. And I came across it, and so I um, brought it back with me. And then, as you will see in the other video, the 23-minute one, I took out the fishing line and measured the pieces and everything like that. Uh, but anyway, whoever just caught this on their line and dr dragged it to shore and then decided to just leave it there, just cut their line and leave it, that was ridiculous because now I have this instead of them. And so I'm so happy with the result of this. Like, that's just awesome. So, yeah, I'm very happy with how it turned out, how my day went that day. Just went expecting to... Um, I don't know. There's always bones there, but never anything quite like this. But anyway, I hope you guys check out my other channel. 
Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not already. Thanks for watching and see you next time.